So this is my affiliate dashboard just from the last 30 days. I'm going to show you a genius strategy that will allow anyone watching this video to make over $300 with affiliate marketing. You do not need to show your face, you do not need to create any videos, and you don't even need a website. This is a genius method that's working today, and I'm going to show you proof. But I actually found out about this method recently by one of my friends who said they were making over $3,000 per month from this very strategy. And to be honest, when they first told me, I was a little bit skeptical. But then I eventually gave in and I thought, I'll give this a go myself and see what I can do. I tried it out and within a few days, commissions started flying in. So then I tried it again with a completely different product and again, the commissions started flying in. So I can't wait to show you how to do this strategy in this video. But first, I just wanna show you some proof of my results. So this is my affiliate dashboard just from the last 30 days. But let me just refresh this so you know it's not a screenshot and we can scroll down and see how much money I've earned from this very strategy. So as you can see, I've generated over $2,000 in revenue, but my commissions are actually only 358 US dollars, which isn't a great amount of money, but I have only just started this method and it is going to continue to grow every single month. So first up, you need to find a product that you can promote as an affiliate so you can start earning some affiliate commissions. You can choose almost any product out there as long as it's got an affiliate program, but I have found that digital products with a free trial work the best with this strategy. And a category that I've had a lot of success with myself recently is AI tools, because there's lots of them popping up at the moment, they're kind of trending, there's a lot of interest in them, and because there's a lot of tools, it means there's not that much competition from other affiliates. And the place that I found most of my AI tools that I promote as an affiliate is this website here called Futurepedia, and you can come on, it's just a database of lots of AI tools. You can scroll through them, you can click on them like this one here called Durable. You can visit the website and you wanna scroll down, and I can see this has got an affiliate program at the bottom that pays out 25% recurring commission, so then you could just sign up to be an affiliate and click submit, and then you'll have your unique affiliate link. So once you've got a product that you wanna promote, now we need to create something called a profit sandwich. Now, before I dive in and show you that, if you wanna learn these strategies that I'm sharing with you in this video before everyone else, then I invite you to come and join my Make Money Online community and training platform called Loaded Lab. The link to it will be in the description down below. There's over $10,000 worth of training inside it, plus I am active in there. There's members just like you active in there sharing tips and sharing results. And speaking of results, I'm actually gonna show you a little bit later on in this video, some results from one of my Loaded Lab members who's actually doing the strategy that I'm sharing with you in this video. But anyway, back to this. So the Profit Sandwich, it's just a random name I just created for the bit that I'm gonna show you now, but I kinda like that name, Profit Sandwich, here we go. And to create this Profit Sandwich, we're gonna head over to ChatGPT to help us out. Now you could obviously just write this yourself, but why would you write it yourself when you can use ChatGPT to help you out? This is where we're actually gonna create the meat of our sandwich or tofu if you're vegan. This is the bit that's gonna make us the profit. What we wanna do is we wanna type Type in this prompt that says, write me an 800 word chatty blog style post about. Now do not worry, you don't need your own blog, you do not need your own website, you don't even need a social media following. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this very, very soon, but we just need to create a body of text. And what we need it to write about is the product that we've chosen. So this product I've chosen here for this example is called Durable, it's an AI website builder, but you don't just wanna say, write me an 800 chatty blog style post about Durable AI. You wanna kind of take it up a level. You want it to be engaging, you want it to be like a story, and you don't want it to feel like it's promoting any kind of product. Product. That's really, really key for this strategy. So for this, I would write something like this that says, write me an 800 word chatty blog style post about the future of AI and how it's taking over human jobs. Include a section about web developer jobs and how AI is a threat. Talk about the AI website builder, durable.ai. So in there, we kind of created a story. We're grabbing attention. It's going to be engaging. Then you're going to click generate. And now it's going to create a post about this that doesn't feel like we're promoting any kind of product. It's going to grab the reader in, it's going to get them engaged, and then there's going to be an opportunity where we can actually say, there's this new website builder that's AI generated, and you can create websites in seconds, and here's the link. And that is how we're going to do it. So ChatGPT has done a really good job here. It's written as a blog post. It feels like it's been written by a human and it grabs the reader in. It doesn't really feel too salesy, but it does mention the product in here where we'll be able to add our hyperlinks to our affiliate products. Now, what you want to do, which is really important for this strategy, is you want to make sure that this content doesn't look like it's been written by AI. So you need to put a bit of effort into this. You need to check this a few times to make sure. But I use this tool up here, which is a free Chrome extension called AI Content Detection 
detector by copy leaks. And what it will do is it will check whether your content looks like it's been written by a human or AI. Now, luckily, because I asked it to create a chatty blog style post, it has written like a human. And if it does come back and say it's not a human, you might need to just ask ChatGPT to rewrite it, but say something like along the lines of write it in simple spoken English. And sometimes it will write it again and it will pass that test. It needs to pass that human test in order to move on to the next step. That's really, really important. So once you're happy with your post, you want to come over to a Google Doc and just paste it in there. And one important thing that you need to add to the bottom of this is an affiliate disclaimer along the lines of this. This post contains affiliate links. If you make a purchase for them, I earn commissions, something along those lines. That's really, really important. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to actually repeat this process twice because we've made the meat of the sandwich. Now we need to make the bread either side of it. But the important thing about the next two posts that you're going to create They do not want to sell anything. You're not putting any affiliate links in. You're not promoting any products. You're not talking about any products. You're just making valuable, interesting posts that can go alongside this. This is really, really important. So you just want to use the same prompt again. Write me an 800 word chatty blog style post about, and then you could just say something along the lines of about the future of AI or about AI in the workplace or something along those lines and create an engaging post. And again, it needs to sound like a human. It needs to be engaging and it needs to have an eye catch attention grabbing title as well. And then by that point, you're going to have three blog posts, one that sells and two that don't sell. Now it's time to get some traffic. Now we've got an opportunity to tap into a massive free traffic source that actually gets over 135 million visits every single month. And that traffic source is medium.com. Now, if you've heard of medium.com, do not click off and think you know everything about it because I'm going to share with you my secret source that allows my posts to go viral and rank on Google and earn lots of commissions. And it's not just a case of posting on Medium and hoping for the best. But if you don't know, medium.com is just a website that allows you to upload stories, articles, blog posts about literally anything. And you can just create a free account, you upload your article, and then what it will do, it will share the article with all of its viewers and readers and get you a lot of free traffic to your affiliate links when you use it with my method that I'm going to share with you just now. Now, before I show you how to do this, I just want to quickly show you some results from one of my Loaded Lab members who's been trying this method out because I know people will go, oh, it's easy for you, Liam. You've got loads of experience with affiliate marketing. Well, we can actually see someone that hasn't got that much experience with affiliate marketing getting results. So they're actually promoting Loaded Lab themselves. They're promoting my product. And if I come into my Loaded Lab dashboard, I can see all of my affiliates and all of their sales and where they're generating the traffic from. And here we can see that this guy is getting most of his traffic from medium.com. I'll blur out his actual blog posts here, but you can see he's getting a lot of traffic and he's getting a lot of signups just from posting on Medium. So this is working even if you're a total beginner and you're just starting out. Okay, so back to this. First of all, you need to come over to Medium and you need to create an account if you've not already got one and to click on get started and sign up. Once it's added, it'll ask you to create the account. Then you can choose the categories that you're interested in. So choose these categories about what you're thinking of creating blog posts about. So artificial intelligence, productivity, technology, and then click continue. And then we can skip this. We only need a free account. And then all we need to do is click on this right section up here. And then you want to upload one of your blog posts where you're not selling anything. So the bread from the sandwich, we'll just paste that in there. So this has not got any affiliate links in. We're just going to use this one to warm up our Medium account, to make us look like we're human, to make us look like we're not really selling anything. This is really, really vital for this strategy to work. If you're just coming straight away, posting affiliate links, it's going to harm your reach and it's not going to work very well. Then you want to make sure you add in some images as well. So you can just use pixabay.com, which is royalty-free images. And you just add in those images like that, upload them, and then it will just make your blog post look a lot better and more engaging. And you also can add alt text as well here, which also helps it rank. So you just say AII or something along the lines of that to all of your images. And then you want to click publish. And then what it's going to do here, it's going to ask you for these topics. Now, these topics are really important. You want to maximize these out. So we want to add in AI, artificial intelligence, technology web development. And these are going to help people find your post inside Medium. Now, when you first create a post, it's probably not going to get any views. So what we need to do here is we need to try and get a little bit of traffic coming to this. And the most easiest way to do this is just by sharing it. So you copy the link here and share it on social media. So share it on your Facebook, Instagram, if you can. You don't need loads of followers. We're not trying to get this to go viral. We're not trying to get anything like that. We just want a bit of real people 
coming, getting a few views coming in. So Medium starts to think, oh, this is a real writer. They're not just doing this for self-promotion. They're doing this because they're trying to create content that they want to share with people. So we want to get a few clicks on it. So share it in Facebook groups, share it on Reddit. Just spam your link around, try and get a few eyeballs on it. It will just help warm up your Medium account and set you up for when we're going to post the post that's going to actually make you some money. Then a couple of days later, so you don't want to do this too soon. You want to leave it for a couple of days. Let there be a bit of a breather on your account. Then you want to upload your meat from your profit sandwich. You want to upload the article that's got the affiliate links in. So you just repeat the process again. You want to paste in your article. But then what we want to do is every time you mention the product we're talking about, we want to just hyperlink that by clicking on that and then pasting in your affiliate link that you got from the affiliate program when you signed up. Now, do not add too many affiliate links in. Add maybe one or two affiliate links near a call to action, especially at the start when you're first starting out. Then you want to do the same thing again that you did with the first article. So you want to share it wherever you can. So share it on social media if you can. Share it in groups. Share it with your friends. Send it to your mum, even if it means an extra click on it. You just want to get a few organic clicks onto your article of people coming from externally to Medium to read your article. But to be honest, you probably still won't go viral from doing that because you need the next little bit of secret sauce that I've been using to help my articles go viral on Medium. But before I share with you what this is, I need to be very, very, very clear that you first need to make sure the content you're putting on Medium is high quality. You can't just use this next little strategy that I'm going to show you and just post any old crappy little content and hope that it's going to work really, really well. I mean, it might work well once or twice at the start, but it's not going to be sustainable. So what you need to lead with here, you need to lead with producing high quality, engaging content for Medium first and foremost. Don't try cutting corners and just getting the most simplest, bit of AI generated content and posting it up and then doing the next step. You shouldn't do that. You should definitely create engaging content, spend more time on creating really good content with good titles. And then you can do the strategy that I'm going to tell you now. So what we want to do is we want to come over to fiverr.com and you want to search for medium article promotion. And you'll find some of these sellers here that are selling this service where they will promote your article. Now, they're not really going to promote your article. That's not what we want them to do. But you'll find some of them where they'll actually help you get claps on your article. So on Medium, there's something called claps, which is actually just likes. And we can actually pay someone on here that's going to help us get some claps on our article. So here they can get over 3,500 claps for $5. And this will help your article go viral on Medium. Now, the reason this works, it's not because we're hacking the algorithm or anything like that. It's because when people click on your article, and it's got no claps, it's got no engagement, a lot of them will click right off. They won't even engage with it. And if that's a brand new account and you've only just posted, there's a good chance that you're just never going to be seen by that many people. The algorithm won't show you to that many people. But if you can get some claps on your first few posts straight away, after you've shared it on social media, so they look organic, they look real, then what that's going to do is when someone does come to read your article from Medium, just a, a generic member of the public, and they see you've already got some claps, that's going to encourage them to want to read this article because it looks high quality, but it's also going to encourage them to leave more claps themselves, and the snowball effect happens, and that's how you can start to go viral. So those initial claps just give your post that little boost that it needs at the start, but do not overuse it. We're not trying to fake engagement. We're not trying to make us look like we're super famous on Medium. We're just trying to start that ball rolling just when we first post our article, which is going to help us build and build and build and get more views and more people reading it. But that's not all because so far we're only scratching the surface of the available traffic on medium.com because if you look here, you can see that 63% of the traffic on medium is actually coming from organic search, which basically means it's coming from google.com. So now I'm going to show you how you can get your medium post to rank on Google, but it's a slightly different setup to what I've showed you so far. But first, let me show you how powerful this is. So you come over to Google and type in free AI tools, which is something that quite a lot of people might search. And as you can see, right at the top here, the second post is a medium.com post. Seven awesome free AI tools you should know. And if you click on that, that's just a post someone's uploaded to Medium and it's talking about lots of tools. Now, this could be an opportunity for you to add in your affiliate links inside here and you can make lots and lots of commissions just by posting on Medium. Now, I've heard quite a few people say that you can't rank on Google with a brand new Medium account or they don't allow small Medium accounts to rank on Google. But that's simply not true because 
if we come over to Google and we type something like, is Buck Bolt worth it? which is a tool which I've actually promoted before. You can see here, I've generated over $1,500 from this. It's an Amazon KDP tool. And as you can see down here, there's a post on the first page, which is a medium article. Is BookBot worth it? Let's click on that. And you can see this is a small account. They've got a small amount of claps there and they actually only have 500 followers. So it is possible to rank on Google with a brand new medium account if you know how. And I'm going to show you exactly how just now. So for this method, we need to actually start with a keyword in mind rather than a product in mind. So in the previous strategy I showed you, we found a product first and we created blog posts around that. For this, we kind of need to know what people are already searching for on Google and then kind of reverse engineer that. So to do this, I use this free keyword generator on ahrefs.com and basically it allows us to type in words here and see what people are searching for. So you could just type in AI and then you'll see what people are searching for, the search volume, and how difficult it is to rank for those keywords. Now, I wouldn't start off just typing in random things like AI because there's going to be a lot of competition for those. It's going to be really hard to rank for. So what you want to do is you want to use this method here where you actually use a seed word. So it's this list of words here, which I will leave a link to down below. This is my list of words that I search for. And these are just like generic keyword, which could feature in lots of different search terms like review, worth it, best, how to, top 10, guide. And these are kind of things that people will be searching for like laptop review or is Netflix worth it and stuff like that. So for example, if we just type in the word worth it into this keyword generator and then what it's going to do, it's going to show us a lot more keywords here. There's, there's a lot less competition for these and we'll find one with the least competition. So for example, this one here is HelloFresh worth it. That's actually a good one. It gets over 4,000 searches and it's got a keyword difficulty of 11. So that's fairly easy to rank for, especially if we're using Medium as our main website. It's already got the clout. So this might be quite a good one to go for. So what I would do is I would go and see whether there's an affiliate program for this. So you go to HelloFresh and type in affiliate program. And you can see here they have got an affiliate program and they pay out an eight pound, which is about $10 fixed commission fee plus 25%. So that's actually quite good. So then we could create a blog post around this and around that keyword is HelloFresh worth it? Then you'd come over to ChatGPT and you'd write a prompt which is similar to the one before, but you'd say, write me an 800 word chatty blog style post that ranks for the keyword and then you'd paste in the keyword, which is, is HelloFresh worth it? And then ChatGPT will get to work and write you out this perfect blog post. Obviously, you need to make sure that it's human-like text and do all of the checks that we did before. You then post it back onto medium.com, add in those images like we did earlier, add in the alt text, and there's a good chance that this will rank on Google. And it might take a few attempts and you might get one that does rank, a few of them might not rank, and it's just a case of trial and error. What I would say is, is maybe try and rank a few posts that have got no affiliate links in them first of all, just to see whether you can actually practice getting it to rank. And also what I would say is, don't go for this, this Google ranking thing straight away. I would try and build your Medium account up a little bit more first. Maybe try and get a few followers with the strategy that I showed you first. Then start delving into trying to rank on Google and it will give you a much higher chance of actually doing it. If you like methods like this, don't forget you can join my Loaded Lab community. The link will be in the description down below. We're geeking out about strategies like this all of the time inside there and it'd be great to have you inside. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to watch a free video, then I recommend you check out this video here where I show you how to build an affiliate marketing business that generates over $12,000 per month. It's one of my best videos. Go check it out.